Welcome to Pins and Things! Today I'm going to show you guys how to make some flying keys from Harry Potter. What I'm really sad about is this is the last day of our Harry Potter Christmas week! This has been an insanely cool week. I am so happy with how all of the projects turned out. We started off the week with our golden snitch tree topper. The next video that we made ended up being our Harry Potter Gryffindor scarf. And then you can't have a Harry Potter tree without a Marauder's Map tree skirt. And of course you've got to have some ornaments, so we did a platform nine and three quarters ornament, some Harry, Ron, and Hermione ornaments, and some prophecy records. For the keys, I actually found these at Hobby Lobby. They were in the scrapbooking slash jewelry area. They're just a whole bunch of metal keys. For this project, the longer ones are gonna be a better bet for our decorations. We're looking for a big old fashioned one, probably rusted at the handle. This one, I really like this one. The simplicity of it is like so interesting to me. Okay, so I've got three that I've picked out that are the biggest ones. I wanna make sure they're long enough so that I will have plenty of space for the wings. All right, so for the wings, I'm going to be using some packaging. So this is just plastic and it's thin enough that it's wobbly a little bit, but thick enough that it can hold its shape for the wings. I got this from an ornament package, but reduce, reuse, recycle, right? So whatever you can find around your house and use, that will be perfect. So now I've got a picture of a butterfly. I just wanted a very simple black and white picture. I just really want the shape of the wing. You can get super creative with this. Use all sorts of different pictures that you might like. If you want to get really intricate, maybe you could even bend wire to look like wings. That would be cool. But for this, I just want to do it the most simple way. So I'm just going to hold it in place and start tracing the lines of the butterfly's wings. Done. Now it's time to cut out the wings and then we can tape them on. I like this better than just cutting out black and white wings from printer paper, which is also something that you can do. What I love about the movie is that they look more magical when you can actually see through them. That's what I like about it. I think that's why I want it to be see-through and not just printer paper. Ooh! <laughs> I've always wanted flying keys at my house on my tree! <laughs> or just flying keys at all. Alright, let's get some tape and tape these babies on. First, I'm gonna lay my tape down like that. Sticky side up. I'm gonna put my wing down here. And I wanna see how much space I want in between. I think that looks good. Wrap it around from underneath like that. <laughs> okay, now let's put some tape in the top in between to kind of make sure that it stays in place. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That makes me really, really happy. I also think it's pretty important to use really clear tape, not like the one that's a little bit foggy, but the especially perfectly clear tape for this. <laughs> it's probably rusted at the handle. <gasps> there, I see it. The one with the broken wing. They're done. Okay, all we need to do is hang them from the ceiling. What I want to do with these is hang them around the top of the Christmas tree by my golden snitch. What I also really love is that these can be made at any time of the year for any type of Harry Potter party and always hang them, right? So they look really cool because it looks like they're flying. So I'm just using fishing string and thumbtacks to pin them up to the ceiling. So basically I've tied it on the front and on the back and it's just a big loop so that I can hang it from the top and have it be level. And there we go. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! They're flying! Look at these beautiful flying keys! So this is officially the last Harry Potter Christmas video from my Harry Potter Christmas week. I'm sad that it's over, but at the same time, I'm gonna give you guys a few extra ideas for your Harry Potter Christmas. You guys might remember my floating candles from Halloween. I love them so much that I still have them up. <laughs> But I decided instead of taking them down, I'm just gonna add some Christmas to them. So we're adding some snowflakes. And I got these snowflakes from the dollar store and they're just a dollar for a pack of like 10 or something. Like, so they're super cheap, but really intricate and pretty. So let's add them up. I'm just using fishing string and thumbtack. So this next extra project that I'm throwing in here for you guys, just to give a little bit more oomph, 
<laughs> is wrapping your presents similar to what they did in the movie. I bet you're wondering what's inside this box. Well, guess what? There's something very special inside this box. I will be opening it on Christmas Eve with my family. And if you want to watch that, you can watch The Beach House. You will be able to figure out what is inside this special box. I also found this old-fashioned looking paper, but I will put a link in the description below where you can find it on Amazon. So this string is striped red and white, which I really love for Christmas. In order to tie a string around a box, you start on the top and tie it around in the middle like that. And then flip it back over. And then obviously you can tie it in the middle. And then we're gonna put our wax seal on top of all of that. Oh, this is gonna look so good! So we're going to make a wax seal. I'm just gonna show you the process, but if you would like to hear more about how to do it in depth, you can go to my sister's channel. It's called Jessica's Workshop. I will have a link in the description below and also in the iCard. Ooh, that's melting fast. This is exciting! It's time! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! That is so cool! Okay, time to put the first official Christmas present underneath the tree. And hopefully my one-year-old won't rip it to shreds before Christmas. And speaking of my sister in Jessica's workshop, she has made, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Elf on the Shelf. Well, she made a Dobby the House Elf on the Shelf and she has it on her channel called Jessica's Workshop. If you want to find out how to make this and how to make the wax seal in more depth, then you can go check out her channel. I will have a link in the description below to Jessica's Workshop and also in the iCard. <laughs> All right, I wanna have a little bit of a conversation with you guys. I would like to know how you guys liked this Harry Potter special Christmas week. So as a Christmas present to all of you Potterheads out there, I wanted to do this Harry Potter Christmas week special just for you. However, in the future, I will be doing a whole bunch of other kinds of videos. And I just wanted to sit here and acknowledge you guys for a second, cause I know you're here to see Harry Potter, but I have a whole bunch of really, really cool things in store coming in the future. So I just hope that you'll still love me if I don't only do Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> I will do more Harry Potter videos in the future though so you'll just have to stay tuned and see when they might just pop up I have a huge announcement to make for years of doing pins and things I have had people commenting and saying can I buy this from you is there any way that I could oh, I'm getting excited to say that <laughs> I've had people asking if they can buy stuff for me from for years the stuff that I've been making and I've never really had the means to make that happen until now get ready here's the important exciting announcement I am starting an Etsy shop I will start putting some of these items that I have been making on the Etsy shop for you guys to buy. I will also have some of the projects that my sister on her channel makes. It will just be a family business putting together these projects to send to you guys so that you can buy them because I know how much you love them and sometimes you don't have the means to make them. So now you can just buy them. Stay tuned for more information on that coming next week. It should be up and running by probably the next video, so Tuesday. One more thing, I have a special giveaway that I will be doing in the next couple of videos so stay tuned because you definitely do not want to miss this. If you like this video please make sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you want to see how we discovered some treasure in our own house click over here and if you want to see more Harry Potter videos you can click over here. We will see you guys next time. I hope you like this Harry Potter Christmas special week and happy Christmas.